Davina here again and welcome to another tutorial from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at how to save your work. Before we do that, can I recommend that you create a folder, say on your desktop, anywhere that you have easy access to it. I wasted a lot of time trying to find my saved work. OK, so what we will do is create a very simple design so I can show you how to save. And what I'm going to do is, um, this is the default A4 document. I'm going to change that to 100 pixels by 100. So it's File, Document Properties, and I'm going to put in 100 by 100 and keep it open. Of course it's quite small so we're back to the magnifying glass and make it bigger and I'm going to work in there and what I'm going to do is draw some circles and we'll have one like that we'll have we'll have a long one that way and one this way That's going to be a logo. This is where the beauty of SVG comes in because it doesn't matter what size you create it in. Every time you come back and add to or whatever, you can create a different size. So really it makes sense to have it fairly small because obviously that will save you uh, space on your hard drive. But first of all, obviously, you have to save this into SVG. So we go up to SVG being the vector format. The raster format, as Caroline has explained, is JPEG, PNG and GIF. So how to save this in SVG? Go up to File and Save. And, and you will see... A drop down list here. Lots of things there, but the one that we're interested in is Inkscape in SVG and give it a name. And I'm going to say red circles. Dot SVG. And it's saved. So that's your, if you like, your blueprint. It might be an idea to save as a copy and again it's up to file and you would do that one there. I'm not going to do that now but with your copy at least you have that there to go back to if for whatever reason you make a mess of the original. Okay, imagine you've gone away, come back 24 hours later and you want to use this as a logo on your web page. Of course, very few programs will accept the SVG format, so we've got to put it into something that the program will accept, and that will be the PNG. So we're going to save it by going up to File, and this time Export Bitmap. It defaults actually to, as you can see on here, um, the file name. I browse just to make sure it's in the right place and I'm going to call this Red Circles Logo. And this time it's .png and save. But we have to export. If you forget to do that, of course it doesn't do it. Again, experience. I've been there and we can close that down. We have still got the SVG file in front of us, but this time you want to add this logo to a document to print out. Well, of course, it's going to be a very small, you could add it to the document, but if you enlarged it on the paper, it will pixelate. So what we've got to do is increase the size here and so what I will do first is 
change the document property size and I would go to click on the A4 and that will bring us to the A4 size. And if we take it down, we can see quite clearly it's tiny, isn't it, compared to the rest of it. So we've got to increase the size here. And the quickest way to do that is select tool, select all. And then holding control and shift, just drag up and move and fit into where you want. It doesn't matter if it's too big really because of course if you put it on insert it into your, your word or page document you can reduce the size there and it won't affect the pixels or anything like that but of course if you wanted to make it huge it would okay so we're going to save that by going up to file again export bitmap it's exactly the same as for the logo except that I do change the DPI which is dots per inch and to 300. That is the recommended um, dots per inch for printing. You can get away with 260 but anything below that it, it looks awful. For the web it doesn't really make any difference. Um, you can go as low as 90 which was there before. So I'm going to browse it's going in the same folder it will have defaulted to the previous title but I'm going to call this red circles picture so that I know the difference dot png save and export and close that down you've still got your master copy if you like your blueprint but now you've got two other files from it, two different sizes to use wherever you want to. I hope you found it useful and if you have any comments, it would be really helpful and you can put them in the comments on our fan page. The address, as you can see, is below. So until the next tutorial, I'll say bye-bye.